Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Coder Girl. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to create a user profile card design using pure HTML and CSS that you can see on my computer screen. Let's get started. Here in this folder, I have index.html file and style.css file. I have another folder called images where you can see these two images that we are gonna be using our project. You can find the link of the image in the video description. Let me open them with my code editor, which is the Atom editor. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file where I have added margin, padding, box sizing, font family. These CSS properties will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file, I have added one title and one link tag that will connect HTML and CSS file. First, we will add the code in the body tag. So here, let's create one section with the class name of main. This is the overarching container that will hold all the elements. Let me open this with HTML preview. So this is the HTML preview where we can see our project. Next, we will add the CSS for this section. So write this class name in the CSS file. And for this one, we will add width 100% height 100 pH. After that, we will add one background image, URL, file path of the image, slash back.jpg. Then we will add background position, it will be center, and background size will be cover. Let's refresh this web page. Now you can see the image on the complete web page. Let's come back to the HTML file. Within this section, we will create one div with the class name of the profile card. And inside this div, we will add another div with the class name of the image. In this div, we will add an image, so write an image tag with the class name of profile pic. Now you can see this image here. Let's fix the height and width of this image. So write the class name in the CSS file. And for this one, we will add position. It will be relative. Height 150 pixel and width also 150 pixel. Again, copy this one and come back to the HTML file and copy this class name profile pic. Write it here in the CSS file. And for this one, we will add height 100% with 100% and object fit it will be cover. Now you can see the perfect size for this image. We have to make all the content in the center of the web page. For that let's come back to the CSS file and in this section we will add display flex, align item center and justify content also center. So that all the content inside this section will be in the center. Now you can see the image in the center of the web page. Let's come back to the HTML file and copy this class name profile card. Paste it here in the CSS file. For this one, we will add maximum width 400 pixel with 100%. Then we will add border 1 pixel solid and this color code. Let's refresh this web page again. Now you can see the border here. Let's come back and here we will add box shadow. Again, refresh this website. Now you can see the border and shadow here. We will add a little bit of curve here. So let's come back to the CSS file. And here we will add border radius. It will be 25 pixel. Then padding, it will be 30 pixel. Now you can see the box with curved corners and some space around this image. Next we have to make this image round. So for that let's come back to the CSS file and here we will add a border radius 50%. After that we will add a box shadow. So copy this one and paste it here. Now you can see the image is round and some shadow here. Let's come back to the HTML file. And here after this div, we will add another div with the class name of data. And inside this div, we will add one h2 tag. And in this h2, we will write the name of the user, Mariam Smith. 
let's create one span and in this span write developer and designer now we can see this text here let's add the css for this text so copy this class name data paste it here in the css file and for this one we will add display flex flex direction will be column then we will add align item center after that we will add margin top it will be 15 pixel now you can see this text in the center we want this image is also in the center so for that let's come back and copy this one paste it here now you can see this image in the center next we will increase the font size of this text so copy the data and paste it here and again come back to the html file copy this h2 paste it here for this one we will add a font size it will be 33 pixel and font weight will be 600 again copy this data and paste it here in this data we will add a span so copy this span and paste it here in the css file for this one we will add font size it will be 18 pixel let's refresh the website again now you can see the increased size of the text next we will add another information about the user so let's come back to the html file and after this div we will add another div with the class name of the row and in this row we will add another div with the class name of info which is stand for information and inside this information we will add one text in s3 and let's add another text in span let's duplicate this complete div so we have added three div here let's change the text it is followers number of follower people and here we will add post number of post so we have added three div in this row refresh the web page again now you can see this text here but right now it is vertically aligned we have to make it horizontally aligned so for that let's come back to the html file and copy this class name row paste it here in the css file and for this row we will add a display it will be flex align item center we will add some space from the top so the margin top will be 30 pixel now you can see this text are horizontally aligned let's come back to the css file and copy this row paste it here and jump to the html file copy this class name info and paste it here for this one we will add text align center and padding it will be 0 20 pixel now you can see this text are perfectly separate from each other and the span is also in the center let's increase the font size of this text so copy this one write span for this one we will add font size it will be 18 pixel now you can see the increase size of this text come back to the html file after this div we will add another div with the class name of buttons and inside this buttons we will add an anchor tag class name btn and the link will be a message copy this one and change the text this will be follow me now you can see two links here let's add the css for these links so copy this class name and paste it here in the css file and for this one we will add display it will be flex align item center margin top it will be 30 pixel again copy this one and come back to the html file and copy this class name btn paste it here in the css file and for this one we will add color it will be triple f which is white color text decoration it will be none background color 
now you can see the text color and background color here let's come back and here we will add font size it will be 18 pixel border radius 25 pixel padding 8 pixel from top and bottom and 25 pixel from left and right side then we will add margin it will be 0 20 pixel white space no wrap now you can see these links look good next we will add a hover effect on these links so for that let's come back to the css file and copy this one right hover for this one we will add box shadow after adding this you can see whenever i take the cursor over on it some shadows will come inside this link so this is how you can create a user profile card design using only html and css i really hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question about this topic you can ask me in my comment section don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and stay tuned for the updates thanks for watching